Ladies and gentlemen, today I have one very simple yet powerful advice that would make you a better trader. Now, this works with any strategy and any time frame. All I ask is you focus for the next five minutes and I promise you by the end of this video, this would make you a better trader. Now, the one thing that I was emphasizing so much on that would dramatically change your trading game. Well, it's actually a two-parter. So the first part being always wait for the candle to close. And the second part, candlestick patterns can make or break your trade. All right, so let me explain what I mean by these two points and why am I emphasizing so much that these will change you as a trader. Okay, so let's get to it. Now, before I explain about the different patterns of candlesticks and where to use what, let me first show a few examples on how effective these candlestick patterns can be. And as I said, it works with any strategy. So let's start with price action as it's most traders favorite. Here we have a channel pattern. And here, as I said in the first part, always wait for the candle to close. Here we can see the price falling out of the channel, having a breakdown. And for those who didn't wait for the candle to close, they would have taken a short trade here and it would have hit their stop loss. Hence, that's why I stress so much on the importance of waiting for the candle to close. Now, here the candle closed and it formed a strong bearish candle. Don't worry if you don't understand that. I will explain right after the examples what are the different type of candlestick patterns and how to identify a strong powerful candlestick pattern. As of now, I want you to understand that this is a candle with a strong close and the second a candle is formed and we identify it, we can take a trade and it goes wonderfully. Let's look at another example. Here we have a channel and if you notice wherever we have a successful reversal we can find a reversal candlestick pattern there. I'm not saying that the ones that closes as a strong bullish candle will definitely go up. No one can say that for certain. Instead what I'm saying is stock market is about probability. If you learn about candlestick patterns and use them correctly your probability of a successful trade will increase. Let's say using your current strategy, your probability of a winning trade is 3 or 4 in every 10 trades. Let's say using your current strategy, your probability of winning is 3 or 4 in every 10 trades. If you dedicate yourself in learning about candlestick patterns and become a more disciplined trader, using the exact same strategy, you could easily increase your probability of winning trades to 5 or 6 in every 10 trades. Same strategy, same everything. Only difference would be you add one additional condition before you enter a trade. That is, it should be a strong candlestick. Now, the question comes to what is a strong candlestick that I'm talking about. There are plenty of candlestick patterns out there. Out of which, in my 5 years of experience as a trader, I can tell you that there are only 5 patterns that are powerful enough and I can rely on. First pattern, fully formed bullish or bearish candle. If you are a breakout trader, this is the only pattern you should look forward to. The other 4 patterns are mainly for reversal trades. So this candlestick pattern is a full green candle and if it's a short trade, a full red candle. That means it should have either very little or no wick. Which is why the Japanese calls this candle Morobozu, which means bald. So at the head of the candle, it's bald, no wick. But again, in a realistic scenario, finding the exact perfect candle would mean you take only 1 in 100 trades that you would have taken. Which is why allowing a little wick like this is alright. Like here, in this trade. Just so you know, these patterns should only be considered if they are around key points, which is the trend line, or near the entry of any strategy you are using. For example, if you are using moving average strategy and it has crossed the moving average line with a strong candlestick pattern, then it can be considered. Now, the second pattern, hammer candlestick pattern. This candlestick pattern looks like a hammer, hence the name. The main distinguishing point to identify the candle is that the wick should be three times bigger than the body of the candle. Here we find a hammer candle 
and it reverses wonderfully. Third candlestick pattern is engulfing candlestick pattern. An engulfing candlestick pattern is a pattern where the reversing candle completely covers up the previous candle. Which means in a bullish engulfing candle, we have a bearish engulfing candle and the next candle turns around and forms a bullish candle that it completely covers or engulfs up the previous candle. Hence, it's called engulfing candle. Likewise, a bearish engulfing pattern is where a bullish candle is eaten up by a bearish candle. The engulfing pattern is without any doubt the most powerful pattern. Hence, it's my favorite pattern. Alright, next, at number 4, we have piercing candlestick pattern. A piercing candlestick pattern is a semi-formed engulfing pattern. To be qualified as a piercing pattern, the candle should cover up at least 75% of the previous candle. Now, this is basically just an engulfing pattern. However, there wasn't enough buying or selling power due to which it didn't get fully formed. However, the piercing candlestick pattern is as well a very powerful reversal pattern. And lastly, at number 5, we have morning star or evening star candlestick pattern. The morning star or evening star candlestick pattern is just as an engulfing pattern except it has a tiny baby candle between the two candles. It is basically an engulfing candle broken down from 2 to 3 steps. Now keep in mind the baby candle should be really tiny, almost like a doji candle tiny to be qualified as a morning star or evening star candlestick pattern. The morning and evening star pattern is kinda the same. We call it morning if it's bullish and takes place at the bottom of the channel and when it's bearish and at the top of the channel, it's an evening star pattern. So make sure to only take a trade if any of these 5 patterns are formed in addition to your regular strategy and it would give you better trades. Also, do not forget to wait until the candle closes and then take a trade. Hope you found this video useful. Well, if you did, do give it a like so I would know you're interested in more such videos. And while you're at that, do hit the subscribe button as many more trading and investing videos here at Wealthy Trader. Until then, stay tuned.